WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Del Rey Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update. Because we've got all the U.S. indices trading to the downside. The Dow's off 577. S&P's down 90 points. NASDAQ 100, 419. Russell's off 41. Semis are down 122. Trendy's off 136. Let's go take a look at our indice charts out here. Let's switch panels. And as we do, we're going to see the Dow Jones Industrials pop up in our upper left-hand corner. And as we take a look at it, what do we know? Let's just simply expand the chart out. Well, first of all, oops, I've got to expand it back to the left. The uh, Dow has a uh, confirmed by the D point that was confirmed with this bull sash candle out here. That bull sash candle formed on the trading day of September 21st. Uh, in order to negate that pattern, you really need to see a close below 33,914. Otherwise, the pattern remains in play. Could be setting up a C point of an A to B equals CD to the upside. I don't have a signal to suggest that's possible. Uh, that's what's taking place right now, but it is most certainly an absolute possibility. You've got a valid bottoming signal. That is a Gartley buy pattern out there. If we take a look at the S&P, you're going to have a similar type of outcome. The S&P also formed a Gartley buy pattern. It did it as well with that bull sash candle. That says that its level of support is really going to be the low of 43.4796. Not the low of the pattern, but the uh, low of the support level for that bull sash candle, 43.47. As long as price remains above that, its bullish signal still is in play. If we take a look at the NDX 100, the NDX 100, it is negating its buy the D pointer Gartley buy pattern, at least at this stage of the game, because you can see prices well below the support of that bull sash candle. This could be a new A to B equals CD to the downside. In the daily time frame, price is already below its first breakout level. That could be signaling to you and I and move back to 13,967. That would be its next breakout area. So the NDX 100 looking more bearish, if you will, than the Dow or the S&P, simply because it has negated its buy the or its currently buy pattern out there. The Russell 2000 strong like bull over the last few trading sessions, and you can see its oscillator and change line just changed because we have different we have different interpretations of this market. If the Russell 2000 holds this level, and this level is where it's trading right now, 2238, that's a bullish signal as long as price can bounce off of that level out there. Uh, folks, stay tuned for David White, the power trading hour. He's up next. Tom O'Brien will take us home for Freedom of War. I'll be back with you tomorrow on wonderful Wednesday. Do me a favor, folks. Have a terrific Tuesday. We'll see you soon.